Hey, long time no chat. So today is my birthday. And I want to say thank you so much for you who've been listening to Organize with Grace for at least three episodes. And if you've listened to all of it, let me know. That would be so cool to know. But I do appreciate you so much because I know that your time is valuable and I'm honored that you would choose to use a few minutes of it with me on this podcast. So I recorded an episode prior to this, prior to my birthday. And guess what happened? I listened to it and started to edit it and listened in on the sound quality and realized that what happened was the computer, my laptop mic, was the one that picked up the sound, which was not very good instead of the actual mic I'm using. So I'm doing this over for you. And, you know, instead of getting upset, I realized that, well, maybe that wasn't exactly the order of items or the the episode that you were meant to hear. So here is my birthday episode titled, What I Wanted to Be When I Grew Up. Life Lessons I've Learned Through Age 44. Here we go. Welcome back to Organize with Grace podcast. Do you feel like you're always struggling to get it together? Do you feel like you're burning the candle at both ends? Feeling completely disorganized in your home and life? that it's starting to affect you mentally and emotionally? Well, you've come to the right place if you need encouragement, easy and simple organization tips, or you just want to know that you're not alone in this season of life. Hi, I'm Grace Ramon, your fellow working mom and professional organizer. I believe in you, friend. You can get it together. Now let's get organized. Welcome back to Organize with Grace. Now that you've heard my recording fiasco, I'm going to go ahead and move on, move on over, move on up to the actual episode for you, okay? So like I said, today is my birthday and I wanted to bring you a few things that I have learned so far and hopefully it would be of value to you. So let's get started. First off, I want to tell you, when I went to kindergarten, I went to a private kindergarten in the Philippines where apparently the well-off kids went. At least I found that out later in life. And we were not rich by any means. My dad was here in the States working and he sent money to us in the Philippines, thus affording us some resources that we would not have obtained or experienced otherwise. And this kindergarten experience was great. Um, We wore uniforms. We had, um, we learned so much. And I I do have memories of it, actually. Um, And it was a great experience. So at the end of the year, they published a yearbook. Yes, a yearbook for kindergartners. It wasn't a flimsy magazine or it was like, it wasn't um, sheets of paper that were stapled. I mean, this was hardback, a hardback yearbook. And each student had a page dedicated to them. And the page was all about the student from his favorites to what he wanted to be when he grew up, what she wanted to be when she grew up. So in there, on my page, I said that I wanted to be a doctor. (laughs) Looking back, I have definitely set a high standard for myself as early as kindergarten, and I have only recently realized how much this has impacted my whole life and the way I dealt with life. And um, no, I did not become a doctor but I lived a life that's full of insecurity, comparison, self-criticism, 
constant competition with others, had fears of failure. And you know, on the outside, you would never think of these things if you were to talk to me or um, or have a um, spend some time with me um, because I hid them well. I hid them well. And this, what I concluded all of these things to be are all um, factors or are all about perfectionism. And I've been a student of perfectionism, whether I knew it or not. <laughs> and this term, you know, it's multifaceted and I may get into it another time because I believe it really truly impacts the way we handle self-organization, whether it's the physical stuff or the mental. And so that is the type of life that I lived on the inside, inside my mind, inside my heart. And I'm telling you, it was quite exhausting. And as I'm unlearning all of these things, um, it's been a wonderful journey and I wanted to tell you all about it in this episode. No, it won't be too long. I'm going to try to do an uh, abridged version of it. So as I was saying, I didn't become a doctor, but instead of, instead I have set such a high standard for myself that I was, had been so hard on myself with almost everything I did. And one of those things that I would do is that I would recently, maybe a, year, a few years ago, I would think about what could have been. And if you want to make yourself even more frustrated with life, yeah, play that game. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. So girl, please don't do it. That's one thing I'm learning to stop doing is to live in the land of what could have been. Today, I made a decision to rest and slow down in my personal life. It's funny because my day job, there is no such thing as being able to rest and slow down. Now, that's another story. I'll tell another time. Now let's focus on resting and slowing down. And I wanted to start off with a verse that has been speaking really strongly to me about this. And let me share you the message version of Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30. And it says, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll discover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Ah, oh, how does that sound? How does that sound to you? To me, I want that. I want that in life. And I know, and I'm learning that this is coming from the one and only, the Prince of Peace. And I'm not here to, you know, preach at you, but that is the Bible verse. Those are the two Bible verses, or, or make that three, that have been speaking to my heart this whole time. And I want to bring it out to you and give you more details as to how that looks like in, in my own life and how it could be for yours. So slowing down. All right. This has been a wonderful process in my personal life at this time. And I am choosing to slow down instead of continuing to grind and strive so for me, slowing down consisted of more quiet time in the morning, more sleep and naps, and more space in between activities at home. Yes, even with a three-year-old, and reduced time on Facebook and Instagram, and just an overall slower pace of life. And, you know, I realized that I can choose this instead of hurrying all the time. 
And mind you, this is the total opposite of what, how I processed things in my mind. So again, it's a process of unlearning because what I have been programmed <laughs> to do in, um, in education um, and in work is produce, 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 produce. And that is your worth, produce what you can do who you are, um, who you are as in your occupation, um, who you are as in what, uh, where you live. And so getting off of that hamster wheel of that kind of life is hard because there's so many um, learned behaviors and learned habits that I, I, I've had and unlearning them is a process. And so many times I need to remind myself of this because naturally I want to hurry up and grow. And then I look outside my window and see the tree in front in the front yard. And I think to myself, that strong and rooted tree took years to grow into that size. It didn't happen overnight. And so this slowing down and taking the time to rest and receive peace has been the pace of life for me. And now I'm not saying that I'm just, oh, you know, kumbaya, peaceful every minute of the day. I'm not saying that. But it's that whole thing about learning and unlearning what I knew. And I am definitely learning to release the pressure off of myself and finally live life, right? And this podcast, Organized with Grace, you know, I'm here for the long haul. I'm here for you. And I hope that you and I can grow and progress together in this life and learn to enjoy it instead of hurrying through it. And as I'm choosing to grow slow and enjoy the ride, you know, I can still work hard at it, but I'm learning to not overexert myself and take care of myself. And so that's, that's the message that I want to bring you. And you can choose to slow down at times. You can rest. You can release the pressure off of yourself. So how about you, my friend? What is it that you need to release yourself of that you need to step back from? And do you feel like you have no choice but to keep on going? Otherwise, your household or your work will fall apart if you slow down. Let me tell you a secret. It won't. It won't. Are the kids fed and clothed? They are, right? You're doing great. You're doing great. Let me just tell you. And those dishes, are they still on the in the sink? Mm, you'll get to them. I know you will. You'll get to them. You know, don't don't let them make you feel guilty that you're not taking care of them at that point in time. You will get to them. And the house is not going to fall apart if they stay in that sink for another day. So that is what I have been up to lately, and that's why I have not um, posted any episodes lately, and I've been really trying to um, focus, and not trying as in striving, but making time, making time to rest. And another thing that I'm learning is to celebrate, celebrate, and this month has been full of celebration because my son he turned three um, June 1st, and then my mom's birthday was on the 16th, and of course, mine is today. And it has been a month full of celebration, and I'm so enjoying it. And the one, the one person whose birthday happens to be with um, my son's birthday, she has the same birthday as my son, June 1st, is my niece, Karina. And... I have missed her birthday this year. 
but I hope she had a great one. And I hope that um, to be able to celebrate um, other birthdays with her. And so anyway, that these are the things that I have been um, thinking about and have been up to lately. And I hope that you are doing well. Let me know how you're doing. And there's a couple of books that I want to tell you about. And the first one that actually got me going along this restful path is a book called Growing Slow, Lessons on Unhurrying Your Heart from an Accidental Farm Girl by Jennifer Dukes Lee. And I so happen, I say that in air quotes because a lot of times there's no such thing as uh, coincidences. I listened to a podcast episode with Jennifer being interviewed and I'm like, wow, this book sounds great. And this is the description from Amazon. Let me, let me just read it to you, okay? It says, We long to make a break from the fast pace of life, but if we're honest, we're reminded of what we'll miss if we do. Yet, when going big and hustling hard leaves us stressed, empty, and out of sorts, perhaps this can be our cue to step into a more satisfying, sustainable pace. In this crafted, inspiring read, beloved author Jennifer Dukes Lee offers a path to unhurried living by returning to the rhythm of the land and, re and learning the ancient art of growing slow. And then, so that sounds, that sounds awesome, doesn't it? And so happens once again, one day, and this same author was being interviewed. So she's, she's on her book launch, right? And she was being interviewed by another author on Instagram live and she was promoting this book. And I'm like, wait a minute, this book is appearing twice. I felt that God is onto something. And then at the end of the interview, they had a giveaway. And so I'm like, Hey, why not enter that giveaway? And I was going to get the book anyways, whether or not I won. Well, lo and behold, three weeks later, I get a message on Instagram saying that I won this book. Isn't that cool? So if you, um, I have, I have a little plan regarding this book, so I'll let you know at the end. Okay. And then, um, so I won this book, which I rarely ever win anything. Um, so much fun. And, and then I found another book called grace over grind how Grace Will Take Your Business Where Grinding Can't. And this is by Shea Bynes. And she is the founder, one of the founders of Kingdom Driven uh, Entrepreneur. And this description of the book, which I bought the audiobook, was on her website. It says, in the world of entrepreneurship, hustling and grinding will earn you a badge of honor. In the kingdom of God, it is an inferior substitute for working by the supernatural power of God's grace. This book will challenge you, shift your thinking, and transform the way you work so that you can glorify God and experience immeasurably more than you could ask or imagine in your business. Do you notice a theme here? Yeah? You know, a lot of rest, a lot of... Uh, peace and less grinding and striving. For the past two years, I have been inspired to start a new, something new, which stemmed from being dissatisfied from my current day job. I've been wanting to try to make Organize with Grace grow faster and sooner so that I could get out of my day job. I got frustrated about how slow things were and focused on the money I could be making so that I could leave my day job. And I envisioned for my podcast to reach thousands of people who would soon become my super fans, success all around, right? And then I was gently, gently reminded of what mattered most in life. And because instead of continuing to grind and strive in that capacity, 
I have found my identity and have become clear about who God created me to be and what my purpose is in this world. And so here I am with you. And there's no place I would rather be than talking to you right now, right this minute. So the biggest lessons I've learned, I can take time to step back for a bit. The house isn't going to fall apart if I go and take naps. And social media won't miss me that much. Actually, it won't miss me at all. And then when I default back to my old ways, I give myself grace to reset and recalibrate. Every day is a new day after all. I choose joy. I choose to enjoy life. And I hope that you will come along and enjoy it with me. And you know, you don't have to change everything all at once. Pick one thing that you feel is taking up your time needlessly and go from there. All right, that is it for now, my friend. Um, I do want to tell you about a special I have for the month um, with my virtual organizing. So for my birthday, I decided to um, give you 30% off of my regular pricing for virtual organizing. So email me for more details, hello at organizewithgrace.com, and I'll let you know about it and let's get you going on your organizing project okay so if you feel stuck on something if you feel like you need that extra set of eyes online to let you know and to to work with you on getting a space organized talk to me and I have a free 15 minute uh, consultation or do I did I use consultation or assessment one of those words <laughs> but we can talk. We can talk for free. There is no obligation to purchase, but I would love to work with you. All right. Until the next episode, um, I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.